Hello, hello, YouTube. Quest for 151, back at it again. Hope you're all having a lovely, lovely Thursday. Hope you're all having a great week, not too stressful, eating well, and just having a great time. The weekend's coming up, so I hope you have great, great plans. Otherwise, you're just relaxing. Hopefully. Hopefully. Now, you may be wondering, dude, you're doing the intro and you're saying hello, hello, YouTube, and you haven't eaten anything yet. Well, that's because I'm going to switch it up a little bit, and I'm going to spend a little more time on my food, because some of you guys enjoy that a little much so today in this box we have a delightful treat it's sponsored not by them but somebody just gave me a slice of cake it is from the yasukochi sweet shop bakery in san francisco and if you're from san francisco and you don't know what yasukochi sweet shop is you're missing out because this this single-handedly is one of the best things I've ever tasted in my life. This cake is so fluffy and so light, and this is this is what they're known for. This is what is known as the coffee crunch cake, but it's super fluffy. It's got toffee on the top, and am I trying to make a foodie channel? I don't know yet. It might be half foodie, half Pokemon card opening. Except today's not even Pokemon cards. Today is Yu-Gi-Oh! But I'm just going to eat this because I have been waiting to eat this for forever. And it is getting stuck to the paper. And come on, work with me, cake. Okay. Yeah. I really want to eat this whole thing right now. But I can't. This has been sitting in my fridge for two days now. It is Tuesday when I'm recording this. And this has been sitting in my fridge since Friday, since Sunday. And it's still fluffy, and it's still moist, and it's still delicious. So you need to go to Yasukochi Sweet Shop and get yourself a coffee crunch cake. You can get it as a whole cake. You can get it by the slice. I don't care. Eat it. Come here and eat it. Don't come to my house, though. Don't do that. I don't have enough for you. Okay, did I eat the whole thing? Maybe. Maybe not. But we got some openings to do. I know that I talked a lot, and um, I don't know if I want to skip fast forward this just yet or not. Um, why am I even still like talking? Let's just open these packs. All right, so I got some legendary packs. These are from the Fairfield Company, so I'm not expecting very much out of them. Um, but hopefully, hopefully, Pharaoh's Servant and Spell Ruler will give us a little something, something. You know, I've opened some legendary packs in the past before, and I think they were from the Fairfield Company, and some of them actually gave me some pretty good stuff. However, what I'm really, really looking forward to is the King's Court packs. Um, I've been seeing these all, all over, um, all over YouTube, and I do occasionally watch Pokemon YouTube openings. I do watch Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube opening. Um, I watch both, and some of the Yu-Gi-Oh! card openers that I've seen doing this stuff, it's like, the stuff that you can pull inside this, I mean, it, obviously they're rare, like the ghost ghost rare type deals. So like, you know, the, the Millennium Pharaoh rare and stuff like that. They're all super, super cool. And this is going to take me a long time to open up because I have like 13 of these packs. Um, so hopefully I can speed through this a little bit more. But I'm just going to talk while I open this and then we'll get into opening packs. So skip, a, skip forward if you want to. But I'm just going to talk for a little bit. I know, I know. I've been talking a lot. I'm talking about cake. Talking about stuff. Talking about food. But, who knows? How, how did you like that? Did you enjoy me talking a little bit more about the food that I ate? Um, would you like me to do that more in the future? Just like, give a little more context instead of just like, you know, quickly taking a bite at something and then just going straight into the video. Like, do you want me to talk about my food more? Um, I would appreciate feedback because, you know, I'm always trying to think of new ways to be creative i don't want to get too complacent if i find something that works cool great um it's always nice to find a system however it's you know it's not a bad thing to improve the system to add new flair to the system and just be more creative with the stuff that i do um so yeah but yeah yasukochi sweet shop like i you know i haven't had it for the in a while i don't have it very often but 
uh, when I do, I always, always enjoy it because it's literally just been like this, like, you know, kind of like mom and pop store. It's been the same people, like this old, like grandma, grandpa couple who have been running it since the 1970s. And it's, it's not even like a bakery or anything. It's not like it's a standalone shop. It is literally one of those, like you go to Japantown, you go to this corner store that is like on the side of Japantown, not even in Japantown, Japantown center of San Francisco, but it's like a block over so not even on the main street it's like this corner shop corner like convenience store like small supermarket type of deal and in the corner of the corner shop is yasukochi sweet shop and it's it's really cool it's one of those places that like if they sell out for the day they sell out for the day so you want to get there early or you want to book in advance and um uh order ahead like make a reservation or sort of like a reservation like order ahead and just be like hey i need this size cake of this particular type of cake and coffee crunch cake is what they are known for. This is absolutely their specialty, and it is what they are known for. Um, it is like, it's like their crepe cake of the uh, Lady M's or something like that. So, if you're into food, if you're into sweets, and if you're into coffee crunch, you are absolutely gonna want to try out Yasukochi Sweet Shop. Is it a paid advertisement? No, it's just me simply enjoying food. Now, we've got a lot of King's Court. Oh, um, also, this video is sponsored and brought to you by Target and Barnes and Nobles. Did they send me stuff? No, they just offered me, you know, a great, great deal of buying these packs for the low, low price of MSRP. So, we've got two legendary packs. We got Spell Ruler and Pharaoh Servant. We got 13, I believe, King's Court, so I have no order in these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open these up. We'll figure it out as we go but king's court now i've opened i've literally opened one pack of this so far so we're hoping to see if uh random packs from target and um random packs from target and barnes and nobles can bring us any luck warrior returning alive majestic dragon zw ultimate shield we got a cloud castle converging wishes rescue rabbit and Evolzar Dolka, which is, I believe, a ultra rare. So we do have an ultra rare, and that's looking pretty, pretty cool. I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh! is just like, eh, I like Yu-Gi-Oh! I love opening Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. I love opening... Um, I love opening uh, the artwork. The artwork on some of these cards are great. Majestic Dragon, Cloud Castle, uh, FO Utopic Feature, Utopia, number 39, Eternal Bond, Queen's Knight. Face card fusion. Super rare. However, what cards are in the meta? I have no clue. No clue whatsoever what these cards do, what the meta is. I just like looking at it and I like opening the cards because Yu-Gi-Oh! is very nostalgic for me. I mean, obviously it's nostalgic for everyone, but like the, the, the Queen's Knight, Jack Knight, and King's Knight, they're like from the TV show. And I remember Yami Yugi using to, it to summon, summon the God cards. Dowsing Fusion, which are in this set. This set has the God cards. Pot of Duality, which is what everybody wants. These are the most expensive, like they are the, the chase cards. Joker's Wild, super rare. So, um, what a card is worth, no clue. I'm not about that. I have, I, I have a general idea of what cards are worth the most, but what a specific card is worth specifically, no clue. I'm here to open up cards and I'm here to enjoy what I do. And hopefully you enjoy it with me. You enjoy it alongside me. Ooh, Chao Feng, Phantom of the Yang Zing. Okay, let's, uh, let's dive into Pharaoh Servant. I don't really know much about Pharaoh Servant. I forgot what comes in this. I know that Spell Ruler has the Relinquished and the Thousand Eyes Restrict. Um, I forget what comes in Pharaoh Servant, but let's take a look and see if we can get anything good out of this. We got a Gradius. We got a Cold Wave. I don't remember if that's worth anything. The Eye of Truth. Beast of Talwar. Super rare. That's cool. That's dope. It's a super rare, so it's something. At least we got a foil out of it, and it's uh, it's definitely one of those like more playable cards back then because it was a, it was a one sacrifice for twenty four hundred attack power. Back when, you know, not every card actually did something. Michizure, four star Ladybug of Doom, Mystic Probe, Skull Mariner, and Island Turtle. All right, back to King's Court. So, yeah, 
Um, hope you enjoyed that little blurb. I know that I talked a little bit during the, uh, the opening process of getting all these packs out. So maybe I'll speed that up. Who knows? I talked a lot. And, uh, I don't know. If you skip the head, you skip the head. All good. Jack's Knight. King's Knight. I summon King's Knight. XYZ Hyper Cannon. Super rare. All right. So, so far we're about five packs in. We got one ultra. Let's see if we can get like a, a collector's rare. A collector's rare was what we want. And we want the Egyptian God cards, whether that's the ultra rare or the millennium Pharaoh rare. Wicked Eraser. ZW Tornado Bringer. If we can get lightning, lightning Storm, that would be cool. Dowsing Fusion. Joker's Straight Ultra Rare. Okay, all right, another Ultra Rare. I'll take it. I'll take it. Cool. Joker Straight Ultra Rare. So we got two Ultra Rares so far out of, uh, was that six packs, give or take? Yeah, it's looking like six packs. Wish I had a six pack abs. Wicked Racer. ZW Tornado Bringer. Dowsing Fusion. Wicked Dreadroot, Pendulum Transfer, ZW Eagle Claw, okay, it's really hard to focus, come on, video, work with me here, Chow Fang again, okay, so let's open two more King's Court, and then we'll switch over to Spell Ruler, and then back and finish it with King's Court, Converging Wishes, Boxia, Brightness of the Yang Zing, Dowsing Fusion, Okay, focus on my cards here, please. Right there. Wind up Arsenal Zen Mayo. Pot of Duality. Zolga, the Prophet. White Rose Cloister. Like the Pokemon. Pokemon? Cloister. Cloister. Alright, here we go. Majestic Dragon. Cloud Castle. Utopic Future. Utopia. Oh, a lot of repeat cards. Eternal Bond, obviously. Queen's Knight. Again, Evolzar Dolka. No clue what this is worth, but okay. Alright, like I said, we're gonna do Spell Ruler, and then we'll finish it off with uh, more King's Court. Alright, so Spell Ruler. Can we get a Relinquished in here? I think Relinquished is in here. I don't remember what else is in here, though. So let's see what we can get. Kododama. Horn of Light. Gravekeeper's Servant. Commencement Dance for a Ritual Summon. Cyber Jar. Dark Zebra. Luminous Spark. Jigen Bakudan. And Taylor of the Fickle. Alright, let's go. Alright, come on. Let's get us something. Can we get a Collector's Rare? Rivalry of the Warlords. Arcana Knight Joker. Arcana Extra Joker. ZW Leo Arms. Come on. Ultra Rare. Another ult like a Lightning Storm Ultra Rare or Collector's Rare or God Card. Unexpected Die. And Court of Cards. Super Rare. We got three more packs left. All right. Come on. I do. Uh, do you think I should get booster boxes? Like this is like a, a, like this is a mashup of like cards from um, Target as well as Barnes and Nobles. Just loose packs. Right. The blister, the blister packs that are hanging. Infinite cards. We haven't seen very many of those. Warrior returning alive. Joker's Wild, super rare. So do you think I should like? Do you think I would have more luck if I opened it from a booster box rather than like um, uh, blister packs? Majestic Dragon, because I do kind of want to pull Egyptian God cards. Wow, this is like we've seen all these before. Like I knew the Queen's Knight was coming up because we just had like five packs like this, exactly like this earlier. Chow Fang again. Wow. Okay. All right. Can we get an ultra rare on the last pack? Last pack. Come on. Last pack magic. Let's see if we can get something. Let's see if we can get something. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pendulum XYZ. Golden Eyes Idol. ZW Ultimate Shield. Rescue Rabbit. Wicked Dreadroot. Constellar Ptolemy. Pato M7. Number 47, Fortune Tune. Super rare. Alright, cool. That was um that was our King's Court opening. And hopefully you enjoyed that. 
I don't know if I'll be getting any more anytime soon because I don't know if I'll be able to find it in the wild and again. But hopefully we'll be able to open up some more Yu-Gi-Oh cards at some point. Hopefully we'll get some uh, better pulls. You know, what was that? 13 packs. We got three ultras from King's Court and then the one old, the one super rare from uh, Pharaoh's Servant. So I'm going to be putting this one in the collection. And I hope you all have a lovely, lovely Thursday. Eat well, hydrate, and get plenty of rest, and have a great weekend. And I will see you on Monday for another one. Bye-bye.